When you think about improving your health, what comes to mind? Do you think about exercising or what you eat? How about what you drink? Consider that 60% of your body is made up of water and your heart is composed of 73% water. Ensuring you give your body plenty of healthy fluids can help create a robust cardiovascular system. However, certain drinks that you may think are healthy may be putting you at risk of heart attacks and a plethora of other health issues. So let's first take a look at the five worst drinks, followed by the five best drinks for cardiovascular health, as well as a recipe for our number one heart healthy drink. Number five worst drink for heart health is coffee with creamer. Did I say coffee? Well, hold on a minute. I'm not referring to the coffee itself, but more what you add to it. And that is the form of a man-made creamer. So what's the problem with them? Firstly, they contain titanium dioxide, an ultraviolet radiation blocker that doubles as a whitening agent. This additive has been shown to cause liver and tissue damage in mice and could have health implications in humans. However, one of the biggest dangers of these coffee cremas is due to them containing trans fats. Trans fats are mainly created by the food industry. This is done by partial hydrogenation of vegetable oil and provides the solidity and longevity product creators love. But the reason they last so long is that the bacteria don't like to eat these artificial oils. And of course, this includes the bacteria that colonizes our gut, hence making them extremely difficult for our bodies to digest and maybe the reason they are linked to elevated blood pressure. In 2013, the Food and Drug Administration stated that these fats were no longer categorized as suitable for consumption, but in small amounts they're still allowed and are often still a feature in many packaged foods. If eaten regularly, these have a cumulative effect and can be catastrophic for your health, especially your blood pressure. So why not opt for real cream or whole milk instead? Number four, fruit juice. This drink sounds healthy, right? After all, it contains fruit. But could your morning glass of OJ be doing you more harm than good? The issue with fruit juice is that when you turn it into a juice, it no longer contains fiber. Plus, it rapidly loses many of its nutrients once it's juiced. So imagine buying a shelf-stable fruit juice. It may have been made weeks, if not months ago. Now you have a drink that contains no fiber and limited vitamins and minerals. When this enters your digestive system, your body sees it as a sugar hit. Without the fiber and the nutrients of a whole piece of fruit, the sugar goes straight into your bloodstream. This can cause a blood sugar spike. According to a review in the medical journal JAMA, the way your body processes and reacts to the sugar and fruit juice is essentially the same as it reacts to sugar sweetened beverages. Having elevated blood sugar dramatically increases the risk of developing heart disease. Nutritionally, these drinks are similar to most soft drinks, rich in sugar and calories, but low in nutrients. This of course leads me to number three, soda. When it comes to spiking blood sugar, one of the worst offenders is sodas. In the same way as fruit juice is devoid of fiber and nutrients, it's needless to say that sodas are too. Consuming sodas on a regular basis is associated with obesity, type 2 diabetes, and weight gain. All of these in turn increase the risk of developing heart disease. As we mentioned, elevated blood sugar is damaging for heart health. But why? Well, when we have lots of sugar in our blood, a process called glycation occurs. This means that sugar attaches itself to a fat or protein molecule. This alters how the fat or protein functions, as well as altering its chemical properties. This process can form what's called advanced glycation end products, which is abbreviated to ages. These ages have numerous negative effects on the body, but most notably for heart disease, they can cause cholesterol to become oxidized, meaning it can no longer function properly. Thus, it can cause damage to our arterial walls. This is due to the way they attract the hard mineral calcium and reduce the flexibility of blood vessels. 
without flexible vessels, this causes blood pressure to elevate, another huge risk factor for cardiovascular disease. Learning about the risks of sugars found in these drinks may make you ask the question whether the diet options would be more suitable. But let's look at our number two worst beverage, diet sodas. Yes, you're right, these drinks don't have the sugar load of a soda, but these low calorie sugar-free options are also linked to health problems, such as type two diabetes. Furthermore, some of the diet drinks contain cancer-causing artificial colors, flame retardants, and are even stored in bottles or cans that contain BPA. This chemical has been linked to obesity and associated with raising blood sugar. Diet beverage intake has also been significantly linked to belly fat. One study followed 749 participants over a 10 year period. The study found that those who consumed diet sodas daily had an almost four time greater waist circumference than those who didn't. Interestingly, the greater your waist circumference, the greater your risk of developing heart disease. Diet drinks are also associated with elevated blood sugar and the development of type 2 diabetes. One study followed 66,118 women for 14 years. The researchers tracked what the women drank. They concluded that both sugar sweetened and artificially sweetened drinks correlated with an increased risk of diabetes. Two of the sweeteners commonly used in diet colas and sodas are sucralose and aspartame. A study published in the Diabetes Journal indicated that sucralose raises blood sugar more than consuming carbohydrates. It has also been found to raise insulin levels in the blood even though it contains no sugar. Aspartame consumption is associated with an increased BMI levels. A 2017 review found that aspartame affects the immune system, which could lead to oxidative stress and inflammation. Both of these issues can increase the risk of heart disease. Now for our number one worst drink for heart disease, energy drinks. They claim to give you a boost with big doses of caffeine, equal to four to five cups of coffee and other ingredients like guarana, B vitamins, and ginseng. You may get a short increase in energy, but don't believe the hype about more energy, strength, and power. What you'll really get is too many calories and an overload of caffeine. Researchers in California conducted a study on energy drinks. Subjects were given either an energy drink or a placebo. They found that energy drinks increase both blood pressure and heart rhythm in comparison with placebo. This could be due to a number of factors. Firstly, the amount of caffeine in these drinks could be correlated to the negative side effects. The effects of too much caffeine include increased heart rate, high blood pressure, heart palpitations, insomnia, dehydration, and restlessness. Secondly, these drinks normally come in packaging that is made with BPA. A study done on rats has shown that exposure to BPA increases blood pressure, as well as a Korean study where subjects were given a drink from a glass container or a container made with BPA. They found that those drinking from the BPA container saw a rise in blood pressure. Finally, another reason to avoid these energy drinks is the amount of sugar found in them, with the large cans containing up to 69 grams of sugar. As we've already learned, this can be hugely problematic for heart disease. So you might be thinking, well, what can I drink? Don't worry, we've got you covered on that one. The five best drinks for avoiding heart attacks are coming up, plus a recipe for a delicious drink to support your cardiovascular system. But it's time to let you in on a world of knowledge about heart disease and nutrition. If you ever wanted to know why heart disease rates all over the world are skyrocketing and what you can do to prevent it, then join our Heart Disease Code program today. Clicking the link in the description below will give you two free gifts from the Heart Disease Code program. Discover the truth about fat and cholesterol. Plus watch the first episode of our comprehensive documentary series the untold story of heart disease. Experience the most extensive collection of heart disease knowledge in this year's making of the documentary series. Now for our top five drinks for heart health. Number five, filtered water with fresh lemon. 
Drinking water will help to hydrate your cells, especially if it's filtered water. Keeping hydrated is important for our health as it allows our body to flush out toxins and work optimally. But to get more bang for your buck, why not try adding lemon juice to the water? This will give you a boost in vitamin C. Having an adequate amount of vitamin C is key for heart health. This is due to the way it helps support your immune system, reduce inflammation, and is crucial for arterial health. You see, vitamin C is a precursor for collagen. Our arteries are made from collagen, and keeping it healthy is key for supple arteries that allow blood to flow smoothly, thus reducing the risk of heart problems. Number four, green tea. Studies have shown that drinking green tea helps fight heart disease. This is because it has a plethora of antioxidants which protect your cardiovascular system. One antioxidant in green tea is called catechins and has been found to help relax the muscles around the arteries, lower cholesterol, prevent oxidation of LDL cholesterol, and stop platelets clumping together. Green tea is also believed to help lower triglycerides, one of the risk factors for heart disease. Japanese researchers from Chiba Hokoso Hospital published an article exploring the effects of green tea on coronary artery disease. They concluded, the more green tea patients consume, the less likely they are to have coronary artery disease. With the benefits of green tea being so potent, this leads me to our number three drink that can be made using green tea. Number three, kombucha. This fermented tea has gained huge popularity over the last decade and for good reason. It contains probiotics which help keep our gut healthy. It also contains antioxidants that aid in preventing cell damage. While kombucha is fermented, it produces a substance called acetic acid. It's also found in vinegar. This is able to kill harmful bacteria. When it comes to heart disease, studies have shown that kombucha can help lower LDL, bad cholesterol, and increase their HDL, the good cholesterol. Furthermore, if it's made with green tea, it can help protect LDL cholesterol from becoming oxidized. If LDL cholesterol does become oxidized, it no longer functions optimally and is believed to increase the risk of heart disease, even if your cholesterol levels aren't elevated. When it comes to purchasing kombucha, be sure to buy one that is from the refrigerated section. Refrigeration will help it maintain the healthy bacteria and antioxidants. Number two, red wine. As I'm sure you know, the Mediterraneans are well known for their love of red wine and longevity. Well, could the two be linked? Let's explore the benefits of drinking red wine. Firstly, red wine contains a special polyphenol called resveratrol. Resveratrol prevents dangerous elements in the body from attacking healthy cells. Interestingly, it's most potent in red wine and is believed to be why red wine has shown to be cardioprotective in numerous studies. A 2016 study found that resveratrol protects against heart disease and cancer while also aiding in lower blood sugar. Red grapes also contain other crucial heart healthy compounds, for example, flavonoids and quercetin, both of which inhibit oxidation of LDL cholesterol. However, with this drink, moderation is certainly key. People who drink approximately 150 ml, 5 ounces of red wine a day, seem to be at about a 32% lower risk than non-drinkers. But higher intake increases the risk of heart disease dramatically. All in all, drinking a glass of red wine a few times a week can help support a healthy cardiovascular system. We're about to unveil our number one best drink for preventing heart attacks, plus a recipe on how to make it. Just don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Heart Disease Code. Also, be sure to grab both of your two free gifts, The Truth About Fat and Cholesterol and Episode 1 of The Untold Story of Heart Disease by clicking the link in the description below. Number 1. Golden Milk This delicious milk drink is made with the potent herb turmeric. Turmeric has many health benefits. This is thought to be due to a compound found in it called curcumin. This can help to reduce inflammation and oxidation of cells. A 2014 study found that curcumin can be as effective as anti-inflammatory pharmaceutical drugs. This is important to note as reducing inflammation is crucial when preventing heart attacks. 
Plus, several studies have shown that the intake of curcumin leads to improvements in endothelial function. In other words, your blood vessel lining can work more effectively. Finally, in this drink, we also add some ginger and cinnamon. Both have been linked to lower rates of heart disease due to their antioxidant properties. So let's get to it. How do we make this cardioprotective drink? Well, add a quarter of a cup of coconut milk, three quarters of a cup of unsweetened almond milk, half a teaspoon of ground turmeric, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of coconut oil, and a pinch of ground black pepper to a pot. Whisk to combine whilst warming over medium heat. Do not allow it to boil, but heat until it's hot to touch. Then serve, and you can add a small amount of natural sweetness such as maple syrup if desired. Well, that's our list. What's your favorite heart healthy beverage? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to keep up to date with our other heart healthy nutrition videos. Also click the magical link in the description below to claim your two free gifts. The Truth About Fat and Cholesterol ebook and the premiere episode of The Untold Story of Heart Disease. Thanks for watching and have a heart healthy day.